Hi, this is another BiteWiser.com tutorial. This is going to be a two-part series. The first part, this part, is going to be how to make the iris of a human eye. And this is going to be done in Inkscape. The second tutorial is going to be how to make an eyeball in Blender and how to bring in the iris that we made in Inkscape and apply it to the eyeball that we make in Blender. So we'll get started here in Inkscape. Let's go ahead and what you want to do is go to File, Document Properties, and set your width and height to 1,000 pixels. Now let's go ahead and we're going to make the iris. So let's go ahead, Control Shift, and something like that ought to be good. Let's bring it down here. We'll want to make this 950 by 950 pixels, that is. And we'll want to go to Object, Line Distribute, and we'll want to center that up. And let's change the color of that. I'm going to make a blue eye. So I'm just going to start with this base color here, I guess. That? No. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. And what I'll do is we're going to do a radial gradient. So click on that. Go to Edit. And let's go ahead and change this so that the alpha value is all the way up. Now I'm going to need to add three more points here. Well, actually two more points. So click on Add Stop twice. So we should have four color values in here. And each value that you see, the top one is the centermost color point, and the one on the very bottom is going to be the outermost one. At least that's how I think it should be. So what we're going to need to do is make the eye a little bit brighter towards the middle. So let's go ahead and, yeah, there we go. So we got a little bit of bright color here. And let's go ahead and make this guy a little brighter, but not at that bright. Oh. Let's see here. Ah, I see. So. this guy what we're going to need is to make him about the same color that's too much white there you just got to play around with this for a little bit but now what we need to do is we need to go and we need to push this color up because what you notice in most human irises is that there's a, a dark edge around here and you don't want that so I mean, sorry, you do want that dark edge around here. Otherwise, it won't look quite like an, a good iris for an eyeball. And this middle part, I guess, doesn't matter a whole lot as long as we just have a little bit of a gradient here. It'll make the eye look a little bit better. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and make the little flares that go, you know, out from the pupil to the edge of the eyeball. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll make something like this. And as you can see, I've already kind of set this up a little bit, but um, do something like this. Something like this ought to be good. Yeah, that'll be fine. And let's go ahead and do an object to path on that. And edit pass by nodes. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Select these two guys, press control. And grab one of the nodes and move it in a little bit and do the same thing on this side so grab them move them in and this will be pretty good yep okay so what we'll want to do is move that over here and we can give that a different color um, maybe something a little bit that might be too much Really, you can do anything you want. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Something like this, that'd be good. All right. And what we'll want to do just to get um, a little bit of reference well, first, let's go and center this uh, vertically within the page. So let's go ahead and just click on this. So set it to center and press control and move this up out of the way. Now what I need to do is 
press control shift and make a circle and we're gonna make this black this is the pupil and let's oh just center it okay and that's pretty good for the iris here and let's grab this flare again move it down and you don't want to move it exactly to the edge of the pupil there's always a little bit of a gap there at least from what I've noticed and what we can do here is grab this guy here and bring him down to about the point where the light blue hits the dark blue so something like that and I'm gonna press shift and grab this arrow here and make this a lot skinnier because that's way too fat and so there we go now what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna temporarily move this iris out of the way and you know what I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna make that just a little bit taller here kinda like that no oh, maybe that's too much I'm getting picky right there okay so now what I'm gonna do is I need to go ahead and click on this guy once twice and there we we need this guy here the center of rotation what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the grid because what I need is I need to grab this guy here and pull him straight down into what is roughly the middle here and something like that well that's off that that got moved a little bit let me zoom in here a little bit so this is the center line right here it gets tricky there we go now does that look like the center that looks pretty darn close need to move it down just a touch maybe something like that and it's still a little bit high let's move that down two more and you'll just just have to play with this a little bit ah I should have done it one more okay so move that guy up there there that's good so now let's go ahead and center this again now the reason why I moved that um, center rotation for this iris flare way down here is because what, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna use some clone tiles I guess that's what you call them to go all the way around the iris so this guy is gonna be duplicated all the way around so let's take a look at that and you go down or go to edit clone create tiled clones and I'm gonna make 400 of these guys so basically the way that this works is that you have rows and columns we want ro one row of this guy 400 times so there's gonna be this guy and then 399 other ones going out this way and that's cool but we're gonna need it to wrap around so what you need to do is you need to go and make sure everything in the shift tab is zero make sure everything is zero here except for the exponents those need to be one and set your rotation since we have 400 of these you take 360 degrees of rotation and divide by the 400 of these that we're going to have so that means that every 0.9 degrees we're going to duplicate another, another one of these so let's change our column rotation angle to 0.9 degrees and blur and opacity doesn't matter neither does color or trace and let's go ahead and create that and you can see it made something real nice down there except it's down there and not <laughs> where you want it to be but that's fine uh, we can we can deal with that so temporarily I'm gonna move the pupil and the background of the iris over here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these guys and press control G to group them together and make them one unit and so let's center these within the page center within the page and center this within the page and so that's almost good it just it's like it got shortened or something so we need to just scale this up just a little bit I'm not quite sure what happened here but I don't like it 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, what we're going to do is just take this iris here and scale him down. Oh, maybe I didn't get the iris. All right. Or pupil, I mean pupil. Let me get rid of this uh, grid. Okay. Let's scale him up a little bit like this. Okay. Now, let's go ahead. And there we go. We got a pupil. That's that's about as good as this really needs to be right now. Um, I'm going to show you uh, in the next video tutorial, when we uh, take this into Blender, I'm going to show you how to do that, how to make the eyeball, how to uh, apply this image of this iris here, and then I'm going to show you an example of what I've been working on so that you can see how well it looks, and it, it, it works pretty decently. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you need to see anything else, you know, tutorial-wise or anything like that, we got lots of tutorials. Just go to the ByteWiser channel, or you can head on over to ByteWiser.com. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.